With no dog or gator in the fight, for that matter, I'll just represent Jacksonville here as the Jaguars look to make it five straight wins on the road in Pittsburgh. We have a preview who may be uh, on the sidelines in street clothes versus uh, uniform and why that's such a big deal to the wide receiving core. That's one of our team coverage stories that we have for you from Action Sports Jack's Brent Martineau. Friday edition of Jacksonville's Morning News Battle of the Border is underway. The exhibition baseball game is today at 1-2-1 Financial Ballpark. The after concert uh, with all the 90s acts from Montel Jordan of Vanilla Ice and then the fireworks. Looks to be mild throughout and mainly dry. Every so often we get one of these uh, car spotting showers. That's pretty much all. And the same holds true today. Breezy wind, very refreshing. First alert, Chief Meteorologist Mike Bursch painting a lovely picture for Saturday's kickoff. It'll be warm into the low 80s, but at least humidity is in check. Looks like our next cold front comes through on Halloween, but trick-or-treating probably is still going to be pretty warm. November 1st is going to feel very much like November. It's going to be brisk and somewhat chilly overall. We're following multiple breaking stories from the overnight hours in the Arlington area, not too far from Jacksonville University off Merrill Road. Two people shot in or near a home. A man in his 20s shot multiple times. A woman in her 50s hit in the arm. No suspect information provided, but several people detained. And breaking news overnight as U.S. Uh, uh, drone strikes uh, targeting uh, assets in Syria specifically. We'll continue to follow this and other developing stories throughout Jacksonville's only all-news morning show. We're live 5 until 10 on 104.5 WOKV. Have a safe weekend. Take care of yourself and one another. And we'll see you bright and early on Monday on Jacksonville's morning news.